stayed at the Hotel Chelsea, which was located on Washington Avenue. And it was a great location because it was in the middle of everything. As you can see, this is the outdoor seating area. So you can grab a bite, grab a drink, and hang and chit chat with your friends outside. Now we're walking into the lobby. And boom, look at that bar. They have everything there. And every day from 7 to 8 is free happy hour. How great is that? And then this is the white couch. So you can sit down, watch TV, read some magazines while you wait to be checked in and grab your key. So this is the elevator. Really tight and small. This is only three stories. We're on the second floor. And we're walking to our room hoping and praying that when we swipe our card that the room looks uh looks good and it looks like on the website and yep it wasn't trash and that's good don't you hate when you go to a freaking hotel and it's like whoa what you gotta go back downstairs and you gotta change your room because you're not staying there but anyway this is the um bathroom and the bathroom is pretty small um it's not a lot of counter space like for doing makeup and stuff but they have big mirrors and the shower is cool they give you soap they give you shampoo and conditioner two levels so she had one i had the other and the closet spaces it's all right they give you a lot of hangers it's cool and this is the two beds and the speaker to listen to music so we grabbed some food before we thought we was about to turn up Out here with my besties, hey, celebrating my birthday. birthday in Miami. Yay. We quickly learned that it was spring break, so everywhere was freaking packed with college kids, but we blended in pretty well. And then here go everybody having a video shoot. Hey. Hey. I came my boo all the way from New York. <laughs> we hot out here. Yeah, happy birthday. Oh my god, I just love this skirt from Topshop. Almost didn't fit it to size four. Mm, Should have been a size six. So the main reason why we went to Miami is because we wanted to go to Barton G restaurant and there's none in New York. So we had to travel to Miami to go there. And honestly, I was expecting a little bit more chic and upbeat vibe. It was really quiet and pretty dead. So I don't know. I was expecting background music. I was expecting... You know, a little bit more fun and excitement from staff and the people. But it was, like, pretty dead. It was like a snooze. Um, we were sitting inside, but then we decided to go outside. And then we had great food. The food is good. I'm not even going to lie. The food is actually great. But... Shh. Listen. Do you hear that trash music playing in the background? I didn't expect people to turn up listening to that. I was just expecting a fun, more upbeat experience, which we had to create ourselves, and we sure did. Happy birthday, Ab. <laughs>
Overall, um, I don't know if I would go back. I think it was cool, but I wouldn't go back. We spent our last day waking up early in the morning to go to the Congress rooftop pool to soak up some sun before we had to say bye to Miami. The view never gets old and I just love the Congress rooftop pool. And then we went to go grab a bite before we had to get in the Uber and head to the airport. Happy birthday, Philly and Ebony. It was an amazing time in Miami. Until next time, peace. Like, comment, and subscribe. Love you.